Hi friends, in this video we will see how to write a very long code of T flip flop, right? If you are new on my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. To start this video, first of all, we have to see the truth table of the T flip flop so that it would be easy to understand very log code. You can see here we have current state and input T is the input and the next state. If the current state is zero and the input is zero, the next state would be zero. If the current state is zero and the input is one, the next state would be one. Similarly, if the current state is one, and the input is 0 the next state would be 1 right and the last one is when the current state is 1 input is 1 the next state would be 0 to just implement this logic on Verilog first of all we have to see the inputs and outputs so here we have t is an input and q is our output now you can see here I have uh, written here module t flip flop this is the function name and q is our output and t and clock is an input right here input is t and the clock the output q is a resistor why we are taking here resistor because we have to store the output of the current state right so that's why we are writing here uh, resistor initial begin then q equals 0 because at the initial stage we have value of q is 0 and and always at the positive edge of the clock whenever the clock rising edge come begin and then it's a non-blocking statement and t, is, uh, t and q we have to take the ZOR of t and q and then uh, put into q so then end and end module you have to run this program I have already done this program so uh, I am not running this because it takes time so now I am running my simulation so that we can uh, verify code go to work and just double click on it now you have to just add wave first we have clock so add wave and t is our input so now add and then q is our output right go to the clock Uh, it's a predefined so I'm not changing it so I am forcing t equal to 0 now run this here you can see uh, we have a uh, this is my current state this is my current state and this is my t value and this is the clock change the value of t again now I am forcing t equals 1 let's see so when t equals 1 now you can see here this is my current state and the next state would be 1 when input is 1 and now I am just uh, running it again you can verify this is here we have this is the current state and this is my input my input is 1 and my current state is 0 right so next state would be 1 right so you can verify here t equals 1 current state is 0 the next state would be 1 so it means we have developed the logic correctly forcing it again to 0 and then see what will happen here you can see we, we have 1 1 right so my current state is if you will see here if this is the current state current state is 1 input is 1 right next state would be 0 right 
so input is one current state is one and next state would be zero so you can verify this code from the truth table of the t flip flop and now running it again so here you can see now changing it again to one so now you can see here we have this is my uh, this is my input state which is equals to 1 and the output or you can say current state is 0 the next state would be 1 right so here you can verify okay so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any question any query you can comment below